I'm Natalie. I'm Emmanuel. And I'm Matt. And we're cruising Israel for ILTV. It's holiday season here in Israel, and that's a perfect time to take a vacation. ILTV booked a vacation just for us, so come join us on our En Gedi special. Is everyone ready? Let's go. Today we drove down south to the En Gedi Hotel, and with so much to see here, including the Masada, the Dead Sea, and the Qumran Caves, the list really goes on and on. The rooms have beautiful views of the mountains in Jordan, the greenery, and even the Dead Sea. So Emmanuel and I are going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful views. Guests staying at the En Gedi Hotel are guaranteed to have an unforgettable experience with luxurious rooms that have outstanding views. They even say Abraham, King David, and Jesus Christ have walked among these spiritual regions. I'm here now with Manny, whose real name is Emmanuel, just like mine. Uh, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, En Gedi Hotel and the kibbutz that we're at. Okay, the hotel was established step by step by the kibbutz. As a matter of fact, in the first years, the guests, which were almost all Israelis, who were looking for health and not so much for recreation, came and begged us to use the old wooden huts that served the kibbutz members in the beginning, just to have a bed and to eat with us in the same dining room the very simple food of the kibbutz. That was the beginning. Kind of youth hostel minus status and uh, step by step it would develop to the hotel which is quite luxurious today with the fine spa and all the other uh, facilities that you see. Now what's special about our hotel? About uh, 30 minutes down south on the shore of the Dead Sea there is a complex of something between 10 to 15 big hotels of many 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 floors as modern hotels look like. Our hotel is much smaller. The, as you have seen before, not more than two floors to the buildings. It is immersed in the garden and it provides something which is much more peaceful with some connection with the kibbutz members as hotel staff. There are different types of rooms that can be visited, each with its own unique view and vibe, not to mention meeting wildlife who roam around the hotel as well as the paths of the botanical garden. Let's get real. Can you see this view right now? Don't we have the best job in the world? Eating fruits during the week, chilling, in the hot sun, looking at this view. <laughs> All right, so what do you say? Let's go to the pool? Let's go check the rest and then the spa? Yeah. After that? <laughs> Let's go check the rest out. Standing on the balcony, it feels as if you could actually reach for the mountains. And when we were brought to the next room, we found ourselves in completely different surroundings. Grass fields, trees all around us, you almost forget you're in the middle of the desert. So what's really cool about this hotel is that each room has its own vibe. You step outside over here, you see the nature, greenery, and then you step outside in the other room, and we saw mountains, very tall mountains. What do you like better? It's funny because, like, I was going to say I like the other room better, but now that I look through the trees here, you can, can kind of see, see the mountains. So yeah. I think I like everything. Hey, Nat. Want to play? What? Yeah, let's play. <laughs> Good catch! <laughs> and we're off to lunch. Lunch time! There's nothing like enjoying a tasty meal while on vacation, right? Calories don't count. And when it's authentic Israeli food, it's even better. So Oded over here brought us some delicious dishes. Hello, you? welcome. Uh, brought you some dishes to eat, as you said you're hungry. Okay, this is the okay. Nesual salad, uh, the Greek salad. Uh, we have heard here the bagel, salmon bagel. And this is the Mediterranean plato. We have uh, hummus, tahini, uh, falafel, and kube. It's all from Israel. And uh, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. So you. Much. After a meal like that, it might not be the wisest decision to put a bathing suit on. But we did just that, because who could resist the spa, right? We're now here at the Synergy Spa where people come from all over the world for very effective treatments and of course the very famous pool with the Dead Sea water so we could just float away. Let's go check it out. 
The spa is actually built on the mountainside and overlooks an amazing view of the Dead Sea and the En Gedi Reserve. I'm here at the Synergy Spa, which is part of the En Gedi Hotel. And today we're speaking with Igal. Thanks so much for speaking with us today. Um, so tell us, what could someone expect when coming to the spa over here? What are the treatments that are offered? We have a special treatment in our spa. Mm -hmm. It's unique only for the En Gedi Hotel the spa the Synergy Spa, and it's called the uh, Date Wrap. Uh, the most important in that treatment is because of the date, and it's very good for cooling and refresh and relaxing the skin and the body. The concept of the spa is built on three legs. One of them is the experience, the regular treatments, like the Swedish massage, the reflexology, the deep tissue, the lot, the rest. The other one is the cosmetics and parts came from Christina, it's an Israeli company, who a uh, professional by uh, professional cosmetics. The third left legs is health. We are given the support even when the guests are leaving the hotel. When the guests are leaving the hotel and get back to their home abroad, they can get all of the support mm -hmm. from us. It's by the telephone. We are sending, sending them mm -hmm. because they prefer to use our private label supplements. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Igal, so much for speaking with us today. And now me and Emmanuel are going to go into the pool back here and we're going to hopefully have some treatments done and we're going to have a good time. So, thank you. The experienced spa therapists offer therapeutic treatments while using natural elements of the Dead Sea. We're now speaking with Orit, she's the massage therapist here at Synergia Spa. Um, what are the treatments that you offer? All kinds of treatments, body treatments. And all this atmosphere gives another kind of massage because uh, you can't fight the nature. Yeah, it's very peaceful over here. What's your most popular treatment, you would say? Most of the people taking the popular, the most popular, it's the Swedish massage. But they can't leave the place without getting the mud massage and all this kind that we have a watsu in the water, which you flew in the water. The salt water pool, filled with water from the Dead Sea, is where Orit performs the famous watsu treatment. So it was time for Emmanuel to take a dip and get swayed through the water. Watsu is a floating massage used for deep relaxation and is known to treat several medical conditions including orthopedic problems, arthritis, and back pain. But that's not all. It was now time for Emmanuel to get her Swedish massage. So Emmanuel's behind this door getting a Swedish massage. Let's check it out. <laughs> and then it was my turn. I got the real Turkish bath experience, or hamam in Arabic. Hamam, it's a bath that is very popular in the Arab countries and in Turkish. And we try to do the same. So it's a very hot room. And we put some water, cold water, hot water, we slap, we scratch, we do everything, we laugh a lot. Sounds painful. No, it's not painful, it's a very funny one. And she was right, it wasn't painful at all, but rather a fun experience. During the first half of the massage, Orit scrubbed my body with a washcloth. This was then followed by a soapy wash and rinsing session with both hot and cold water. This is definitely a shower fit for a king. With the water coming out from the ceiling. I'm a painter. The last 12 years I didn't paint. 
I had to walk, I had to make my living. I was too busy in the city. And then I came by mistake here to Engedi. The first time I came to visit, I fall in love in the view, in the weather, everything. After three hours, I left my business card and I went home and after two weeks, I moved here. And I'm still very happy because I start to paint again. In Hebrew, heaven, it means Gan Eden. And, and Gedi and Gan Eden, it's the same letters. So I'm sure I live in heaven. After getting a taste for this magical place, swimming in the salt-filled pools, getting top-notch massage treatments, it's definitely time for dinner. Can't wait to see what the chef has in store for us. Hi. This is our chef, Arthur Gadilov. Thanks so much for all this food. It looks delicious. Thank you. Thank you, love. Eat it. First to come out was an Israeli classic, shakshuka. Shakshuka is commonly known to be served with diced tomatoes, onion, and a sunny side up egg right on top. But Chef Arthur Gadilov switched it up to make it a little different. He made it with spinach. And in Israel, it's almost an unspoken rule that salads are a must at every meal, even on the side of ravioli pasta. Can't forget about dessert. Which one do you want to eat first? I kind of think this one. What about you? I'm going to go for the most chocolatey thing on the table. After devouring this meal, we met a very interesting group of people also staying at the hotel with an even more interesting story. I am here in Angedi because uh, I have some uh, psoriasis and this area is very good for uh, treatment here. And uh, we are a big Danish group and uh, we are here for 28 days. As a working day, we are going to the beach and uh, we lay down in the sun, you know, uh, almost around five hours every day. And it's very hard here, you know. Uh, in Denmark, we have a social system, you know, if, if you have uh, that uh, skin problem, you go to the community and, and, and you go through a hospital and you can, come up, you can come up to a visitation and look at you and maybe you're lucky to come uh, to Israel. Yeah. All for free. Everything is paid for the Danish government. Do you feel as if this has been effective, the sun? Yeah, 100%, you know. Uh, the most of the people is 100% uh, uh, clean off uh, from our skin, you know. So uh, it's a good treatment, you know. So uh, and no uh, medicine, nothing. In Denmark, you maybe use medicine every day to. Uh, so it's all natural. It's all natural. So along with this relaxing atmosphere, the Dead Sea is also so healthy for you. The waters contain eight times more minerals than most seawater, and it's the saltiest in the world. Welcome to the Manuel. What's up? How'd you sleep? It was good. It was so relaxing to wake up like this. Yeah, after a day like yesterday, spa treatments, getting whipped, <laughs> literally hot stone massages. I fell asleep in five minutes. I know. So for the agenda for today, we're gonna have a really fun day, but I'll tell you about that a little later. Are you, are you hungry? Starving. Okay, so let's go eat breakfast and then we'll start our day. After Emmanuel and I had some breakfast in the hotel, we started out our day. So Emmanuel, if you're fond of nature, which I know you are. You know I love climbing on trees. <laughs> um, you're going to love our next activity. We're going to the Botanical Garden, where it's 700 meters in length, thousands of plants, flowers, cactuses, trees, you name it. Ooh, let's go. So many plants from all over the world have been acclimated to Israel and grow right here in the Botanical Garden. The En Gedi Kibbutz stands as a stepping stone for the hotel, the botanical garden, and their luxurious spa. The kibbutz established the hotel, the kibbutz established the garden, and uh, so on the same hill where you, we are here, just a few steps up uh, the hill, the kibbutz members live and have their other activities as well. So we assumed the garden was just a section in the kibbutz. Little did we know it was quite enormous and it's the only botanical garden in the world that people actually live in. The whole hill that was until 57 years ago, desert with no plant on it, is the garden today, which includes the members' houses, the members' uh, activity centers, the education center, 
and the tori tourism center, like the hotel. So the garden includes everything like this. In ancient times, the Jewish people of En Gedi had flourished with their lavish synagogue that still stands today, tells a story of the people of that time. They were the only people who would be able, because of this climate, to grow those spices, perfume, incense, plants like the myrrh, and the frankincense, and the balsam, and the henna, all those that couldn't be grown in any other place of Israel. And these products brought a lot of money to the people, to the Jewish people who lived here in En Gedi. In addition to this, the same sources that fed the oasis of En Gedi in ancient times, they still exist. I'm talking about two nature reserves in the canyon of Arugot and in the canyon of David, two nature reserves with a lot of water, plants, wild animals like the ibex and the hyrax, and so people can enjoy hiking there. What we are seeing here is our highest pride, I mean of the gardeners here in En Gedi. This plant probably was grown here 2,000 years ago by Jewish farmers. That was one of those special incense, perfume, cosmetics, and medicine plants. This is one of the uh, varieties of myrrh. Um, and uh, one of the professors in Barilan University believes that this kind of myrrh was the one that in Talmudic time was called afarsemon which was the most precious, beloved, and expensive perfume of the ancient times. They say that the young women of Jerusalem were fighting on getting this, and they were using it to attract boys. But how are all these products produced from these plants? Like they still do in, in East Asia with the rubber trees, they used to make cuts in the branches, collect the liquid that hardened on the branches, and then, if you break it to, or, or to little parts on burning coal, it's incense, which start immediately spreading this beautiful smell that you can smell from here. And if you make a powder of it, like flour, you can mix it with oils and make cosmetic oils, medicines and perfumes. So all this was brought from the time of the Bible, from the land of Sheba, from Yemen, and was grown almost until the Muslims came here. So when the Muslims came here, there was already nothing. And these plants, unlike the date plants, these plants didn't survive in nature. So for about 1500 years, these plants were not known in Israel and not in the Middle East. So our gardeners have started collecting them again from faraway countries. And of course, we cannot go to Yemen to get them. So we have myrrh, we have frankincense, which is very close here, and some other kinds, so which make us very, very proud. What they're trying to do here in the botanical garden is keep the history of the plants that have been grown here from 2,000, thousands of years ago. That one, one important part of, of, of the, uh, let's say, of, of the vision of our garden. After just a few minute bus ride that comes every 15 minutes to the En Gedi Sea of Spa, we arrived at the Dead Sea. Here at the En Gedi Sea of Spa, they offer many effective treatments, and here Rebecca is going to tell us a little bit about that. Well, first of all, welcome to En Gedi Sea of Spa. Uh, we offer six sulfur pools inside the building. Uh, anybody under over the age of 16 can use them. You have the freshwater swimming pool uh, on your side. There's the mud area, a uh, natural mud area, and the Dead Sea Beach. Okay, uh, and more than that, we offer spa treatments, massage treatments for whoever is interested. So what would you say is the most effective treatment? The mud treatment and the Dead Sea, of course. But as a massage treatment, I would advise on the peeling or the mud wrap as uh, to do on, on your to-do list here today, I would advise do the sulfur, uh, the mud, and of course the beach. The spa was a sta was open 40 years ago, uh, more or less. Um, 10 years ago, uh, an, a new investor came into the business, so now the spa is owned half by the kibbutz and half by the Glam family. But we've been working for the last 40 years. 
Okay, thank you, Becky. We'll let you get back to work while me and Emmanuel get muddy. After just a few minute bus ride that comes every 15 minutes to the En Gedi Sea of Spa, we arrived at the Dead Sea. This is a natural remedy for exfoliation. Like Rebecca said, <laughs> like Rebecca said, this is one of the best treatments that they serve that they have in the spa. It's the best thing you could do for your skin. We're here right now with Adrian and Carol from South Africa. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience here. It's been quite a culture shock. The, the traffic is just as bad as in South Africa, if not worse. And it's been quite different driving on the right hand side of the ray. Um, but it's been amazing. The food is amazing. The, the people are different, but but um, yeah, no, it's, it's been it's been awesome. Yeah, and it's super nice having warm temperatures for a change. Yeah. And are you staying here somewhere at the Dead Sea, or is this a day trip? No, this is just a day trip out. Yeah, we're staying in, in Jerusalem. And did you guys do the mud? I'm about to. I was actually on my way to do yeah? that now. Yeah. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> cool. Come. What a great way to wrap up our En Gedi trip with mud all over ourselves. Now let's go wash this off. Let's do it.